Hey, how y'all doing? This is Mongo Slay, and today we're going to talk about handicap matches. And please hit the like button for me. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. And now let's talk about handicap matches. I don't like them. I don't like any of them. I've never liked a single one. Handicap matches fucking suck. I'll tell you why handicap matches fucking suck. If two men can't beat one, then they're both fucking useless. That's why I used to have King Kong Bundy beat up two guys. Because it was two fucking jobbers and it didn't matter. You have Andre the Giant beat up two, three guys. Because it didn't matter. They were all job guys. Why in the fuck would you take two guys, one of them, one of whom you're positioning to be the number one contender for the title, and he gets fucking beaten in a handicap match? Like, what the fuck? That doesn't make sense. That does not make sense. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you why why do we need handicap matches? Period anyway. Why do we need handicap matches? What are they good for? They they literally don't get anybody over. Because it's it really doesn't make any sense anymore. Like unless they're doing some like let's talk about handicap matches that might help get somebody over. Because Ryback used to do handicap matches. They used to actually be pretty good. Like I was talking just a couple of seconds ago. King Kong Bundy, Yokozuna, uh, Andre the Giant. You know, those guys would wrestle handicap matches. They would get over. Because they would, the first starters, the matches wouldn't be that long. Matches would be like 45 seconds. And you'd be like, okay, these two guys go in there. And one guy pretty much stack them on top of each other like, like, like lumber. Sit on them or something stupid like that. And. The match is over. The big giant dude won. Now you've got two average sized guys beating up a slightly at above average sized dude. It's like the, the the weight difference is not that not that much. The size difference is not that much. One of these guys should have been able to beat that guy by himself. Like, why I don't know. And and poor John Morrison, for fuck's sake. Like, this guy, come on, man. Look, I'm not, again, I'm not a mark for wins and losses, who wins, who loses. None of that shit fucking matters. But to me, when I'm sitting here watching TV, the last thing I want to see is handicap match. Because I'm like, oh, fuck. There's no way, there's no way that that could benefit anybody. And then these two idiots just lost the handicap match to Braun Strowman. So pretty much you shit on Braun Strowman because it's like, oh, yeah, you know, he, Braun Strowman is a legit giant. You know, the guy's like 6'8". He beat these two guys. Now, McIntyre is like, what, 6'3", maybe? And he beat both of them. So it's like, fuck, do these two idiots have to wrestle fucking Drew Gulak in order to win a match? What the fuck? Why can't they win matches? Didn't Miz just lose to Drew McIntyre last week? Why are they cons consistently in the same position? Constantly losing matches. And then how is this a main event? If this guy couldn't beat him by himself... Now he can't beat him with a partner. How is any of these people still main event X? None of them are. So then why the fuck I have to wait till 1030 to see him? Put these motherfuckers on at 745. And no, I'm, I know that was not a typo. I didn't misspeak. Put them on before the fucking show if that's going to be the case. I don't want to see this shit anymore. I'm fucking tired of fucking handicap matches. What the fuck is the purpose of a handicap match if it's not to get one guy over? And then why do you need to get the guy over if the guy was just a fucking champion? And he beat up the fucking champion earlier in the night. He didn't need to be any more over. That was just enough over. That was enough. That was enough. And you're not really helping anybody. All you're doing is burying people. At this point, you make them look like shit. And look, I'm pretty sure Miz doesn't give a fuck. He probably, he, he probably already know he about to get the title. That's still stupid. It's still stupid. Like nobody can be, nobody can get over. Nobody can get any heat. That's a big problem with WWE. If we're being honest, they kill off all their fucking heat. Anytime somebody get any type of heat, they kill it. They kill it immediately. The Miz actually had heat for how he cheated. Uh, not only cheated to get in the match with Otis, but cheated in the match with Otis. And now he got the money in the bank. But he doesn't have any heat anymore because he keeps fucking losing and keeps looking like a fucking goof every week. How could you build heat that way? How could you build it that I want to see the Miz get beat up when he literally gets beaten up every 10 minutes? 
He got beat up three times in one show. That, that's, that doesn't work. It doesn't work. And like I said, uh, I said, you know, in previous videos, there is something to be said about having a beatable champion. There is. And I, and I don't change my mind on that. But again, you don't just take random Tony Nese level motherfuckers and put them in the world title match and say, look, oh, you said champions could be beatable. That's not what I mean. What I mean is they have to have some credibility. Some. You have to at least put some heat under them. Man, they got no fucking credibility. None. And is that really what they're going for? That he's going to be the champion with zero credibility? With negative credibility? Because that's what it looks like. And I'm almost certain that Miz will be the champion. Almost certain. But this is stupid. This is dumb. Handicap matches need to fucking go. And I know I'm jumping back and forth. But it's all tied together. The Miz situation. Because this is not the first handicap match that he's lost. He's just lost a handicap match to Braun Strowman a couple months ago. When him and Morrison was doing that dumbass song. And I thought the song was hilarious. But come on. I was supposed to be a main event feud and they were talking about his Crocs. It was stupid. This stuff is stupid. Like, you can't get people over by having them beat up two guys. Like, that, that it didn't help Drew McIntyre. Like, Drew, nobody walked away thinking Drew McIntyre was more of a badass after that match because the Miz didn't have any fucking credibility. He didn't have any credibility going into the match. So what difference did it make that he won? You got to build fucking heat. Instead of blowing all your fucking heat 10 minutes into the goddamn show. It's stupid. It's just real stupid shit. Raw is unwatchable, dog. It really is. Like, Raw is fucking unwatchable. They don't put any emphasis on anything. It's all instant gratification. Instant, instant, instant. It's all microwave. Put a little bit of heat on it. Throw it in the microwave. Then it's over. And before the next week, you have to start all over again. Got to do another Miz promo. So he could talk about how great he is and how he almost cashed in the money in the bank and be annoying, be annoying, get beat up. And then you have to start all over again the next week. It's, no. Hell no. Fuck that, man. Fuck this show. Raw fucking sucks. <laughs> it fucking sucks. All right, man. Um, thank you guys for listening. Um, hit the bell for notifications. Hit like for me, please. Subscribe for me, please. Um, and thank you for your time. And I'll talk to you guys later.